Good morning, my friend. Would you be interested in discussing risk and risk concentration in the modern world? Good morning. Absolutely. I'd be glad to discuss risk and risk concentration in the modern world. This is a broad and multifaceted topic that spans various fields such as finance, geopolitics, environmental issues, technology, and health, among others. Risk, in general, refers to the potential for loss or an undesirable outcome. Risk concentration, on the other hand, refers to the aggregation of risk in a particular area, sector, or system, which can lead to heightened vulnerability or impact if something goes wrong. Let's narrow down the focus a bit. Are you interested in discussing risk in a specific context, like financial markets, global health, environmental changes, or perhaps technological advancements? Or would you like an overview of how risk concentration affects various areas in the modern world? Let's discuss risk and wealth concentration. I posit that the wild economic swings and asset tulip markets have sprung up because wealth has been concentrated in the hands of fewer and fewer decision makers, which heightens the risks and impacts of faulty decisions or bad actors. Thoughts? Your observation touches on a significant and complex issue in the modern economic landscape, the concentration of wealth and its impact on economic stability and risk. Wealth concentration and decision-making power. When a significant portion of wealth is concentrated in the hands of a few, these individuals or entities gain disproportionate influence over markets and economies. Their investment decisions, risk appetites, and even speculative behaviors can have outsized impacts on financial markets. For instance, large institutional investors or wealthy individuals moving in or out of certain asset classes can significantly sway market prices. Risk amplification and tulip manias, the reference to tulip markets, is an analogy to the tulip mania of the 17th century, often cited as one of the first recorded speculative bubbles. In modern times, similar phenomena can occur when wealth concentration leads to increased speculative investments in certain assets. This speculation can drive prices far beyond their intrinsic values, creating bubbles. When these bubbles burst, they can cause widespread economic damage, especially if these assets form a large part of the market's value. Faulty decision-making and systemic risk. A smaller number of decision-makers holding vast wealth can also mean that mistakes or misjudgments have more severe consequences. In a more diversified economic environment, poor decisions by a few actors might be offset by better decisions by others. However, when wealth and decision-making are highly concentrated, the potential for systemic risk increases. If these major players fail or make poor choices, the repercussions are felt across the entire economy. Impact of bad actors. The concentration of wealth also raises concerns about the influence of bad actors. With significant resources at their disposal, these individuals or groups can manipulate markets, evade regulations, or engage in unethical practices with far-reaching consequences. Economic and social implications. Beyond financial markets, wealth concentration can also exacerbate social inequalities and lead to economic imbalances. It can influence political decisions and public policies, often tilting them in favor of the wealthy. This situation can lead to a cycle where the rich get richer, and the economic mobility and opportunities for the rest of the population are diminished. In summary, the concentration of wealth does appear to contribute to heightened economic risks and the potential for more dramatic market swings. It's a multidimensional issue with implications not just for financial markets, but also for social equity and democratic governance. Addressing these risks involves complex policy considerations, including financial regulation, antitrust laws, tax policies, and measures to ensure more equitable economic growth.